Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory, a Fantasy Harvest Moon. So, in the last episode, we took on Casimir Ruins. For the final-ish time, we'll have to head back there to grab a couple items, I believe, but other than that, you know, we're good. As per usual, I have some chores to take care of today, which I'll take care of off-screen, and then we have some adventuring to do. And while I'm here... Not a Platinum... There's a platinum. Oh. Dang it. The broken box. An old wooden box damaged beyond all usefulness. It's, you know, the item we got last time, so I'll be selling it. There's also the giant gloves. The gloves of a giant. A normal human can fit both hands in a single glove. Alright, and uh, before we head up and talk to uh, the mayor, let's talk to people. Good morning. You're always going to such dangerous places. You really should think more for your safety. Come on in. Even so, there are monsters in all the caves. Come on in. Thanks for coming, as always. Okay. So, while I'm here, I'm going to need to sell this stuff. And while I'm here, I will buy, just in case, six sweet potato seeds. Actually, now that I think about it, since we have done a new cave here, Magic ring, an enchanted ring, increases intelligence. Intel intelligence plus 12, strength index minus 1. I think that would be the only new thing. I guess this would increase my dex, but I have no idea if that was a thing before or not. Good morning. I'm so happy you made it back alright. I was worried for you. You're incredible, Raguna. Really? So there were monsters in the ruins as well? It would appear ominous things are afoot. Um, some kind of magic book called Quake or something came in. Mr. Guna, I'm so glad you're safe. Morning. It seems you fought a large monster again. Did you get hurt? Do you think it's possible to friend the huge monster? I don't think so in this title. Maybe features. Come in. Don't get yourself killed or anything, okay, Raguna? I made a new product. I'm proud of this one, I... Be there are large beasties there. First time I ever heard of one, one there. That, that was a weird sentence. Here. I don't know. I mean, all day well, a cross-shaped axe, originally designed for ceremonial purposes. Eh, it's not bad. Was there a monster in the Casimir ruins? Something does seem odd lately. So there were monsters in the Casimir ruins too, eh? I want to try the delicacies around the Casimir ruins. Morning. Gee, Regina, you're really, really strong, aren't you? You're so cool. Hey, teach me how to use a sword sometime, okay? Please? Alright, and now finally, Mayor Godwin. Good I don't think I'm mistaken. The, the Empire infiltrated our countryside. I received unconfirmed reports stating that they moved large weapons into Danan Cave. I'll go ahead and investigate. Are you sure? Positive. Alright, I'm issuing you a pass to Danan Cave. Good luck, Raguna. I'm relying on you. Got it. You got a pass for Danan Cave. Alright, and now we can just travel there. I didn't need to till any soil. Also, speaking of things I didn't, you know, really realize until I was, you know, finishing up the episode or even done with the episode. Um, I'm level 99. I'm max level. I can never go any stronger than this. If I want to get any stronger, I have to use supplements. And actually, our strength's only 11 points from max, so... We're almost as strong as we can be. I think you can actually overmax. I think it only reads 99 on the screen, but I think technically you can do like 110, 150, 300, however many you want. It just really, I'm not sure it actually affects your stats. I think if you were just to have a weapon that were to decrease a stat, it wouldn't affect you at that point. Also, completely off the note of professionalism and my videos and everything, my cat has been screaming at my door and now she's trying to climb all over me. I don't know how I'll finish this recording like this. 
Listen, boy, I absolutely adore you. But you need to stop. You need to stop. Alrighty. We're gonna head west towards Casimir Ruins. It seems the Empire has been maneuvering behind the scenes. What could they want? And rather than head into Casimir, if we continue past that, up here. Now, if I remember right, I'm forgetting which path it is. Denon Cave, unauthorized entry prohibited, Godwin, Mayor of Cardia. Denon Cave climate, an Arctic region, but inside the climate feels like fall. Here's our next cave. Draguna, if what people say is true, the Empire's new weapon was transported inside here. So it would seem. But what could the Empire be up to? I don't know, but I plan on finding out. Right, I'll try to see what I can learn too. Okay, so in here, we need to pull out our fancy little sword. Here's the... Daemons. I'm not sure they can drop anything I need for tools currently. I think mostly I just, you know, care about finding some mining spots in here. And there are actually a few things I need for... Hmm... Give me just a moment, guys. I need to figure out what items I need for a specific tool. Okay. I looked up exactly what I was trying to think of. So... These are not the enemies I need, but they're an enemy. I need to find a specific plant-based monster, which I do not believe I can do yet. And that was the cave, right? I don't know, actually, that is the right place. I think. Like I've mentioned before, these later dungeons are more vague because I haven't been able to easily practice due to, you know, a certain Misty Bloom Cave being the worst thing ever. <laughs> That's my biggest gripe with this game is just like the whole Misty Bloom incident. Beyond that... Let's see if we can get some platinum here. I can. That was the platinum I needed for my platinum hammer. I do not care about emerald. There's some more platinum. If I can get a bunch of platinum here, then I can start upgrading multiple tools. Today is my lucky day. Um, let's start eating. It still won't open. Maybe it'll open if I grow a lot of crops. In fact, I'm sure of it. After all, people are supposed to live in harmony with the land. It seems mist rubbed off on me more than I imagined. Alright, so there's a door here which... Um... I don't know about that translation exactly, but there's some, you know, fields around here I need to plant on. Oh. Okay, so this friendly little guy is the little wizard. I actually need one of his drops, so if I can get it... I was really hopeful. Alright. We gotta get out of here real quick. I figure I'd make my way to that door just to show off that we are gonna be having those kind of troubles today. That is, in fact, why I bought the seeds. This is a fall-based dungeon. Uh, the lowest grow time is the yams, so I would recommend just planting those. It'll be about five days. You'll have... Uh, I think it was four or five. I, I want to say five. Five uh, plots of crops that you need to grow. Hello. It looks like the Empire are just going to get here soon, eh? 
Oh, you're gonna face them, Raguna? Yeah, I guess so. Gotcha. I'll head out there later. But it's very dangerous. You should stay here, Mist. But we came so far. I won't know... I won't be able to rest at night knowing I haven't seen it through to the end. Mist, you have done literally nothing. Hello. It seems as if the danger of war is suddenly upon us. Thank you, I love when people take baths. Take your bath. Take it now. Edward? So, I kind of re realized halfway through the day here, it's actually Edward's birthday. I would not be showing off what he loves today, it's kind of an annoying thing to get. It's fried skipjack. And while we could get a skipjack, it is kind of a pain to do and I have other plans. I need to keep making progress. I already have him to 10 friendships, so it doesn't really matter too much for me, but if you want to give it to him, just head to the Misty Bloom boss room and start fishing with a good fishing rod and you should get it fairly easily. If you just have the Willow one like me, then it might take a couple hours, but you know, you'll get it. A couple hours, you know, in-game, not real time. If it takes you that long, then man, you're unlucky. Now if we come up here, I'm going to grab the items I care about, which is, at this point, only medicinal herbs. There's actually a uh, pond right here to make it a lot easier for us. Very much appreciated, to be honest. close here. Okay, I managed to do it barely. But the fact that it takes that much energy just to be able to do, you know, that is kind of ridiculous. You need to stop. I love you. Stop it. Beep, beep, beep. I am a sheep. Okay, it's 11.50. We only have an hour of time left to do things, but time doesn't matter when you're indoors, obviously. Now, we're going to use all the random ones that aren't in stacks. We are going to use one hammer piece, and we are going to use our gold hammer. Nani? Okay, Blair, I really do love you, but I, do, I just get out. <laughs> so what did I do wrong here? It's one gold hammer, one platinum, two platinum, three platinum, four platinum, hammer piece. I'm a, f I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I was just over at the chemistry thing trying to figure out why I couldn't make a hammer. <laughs> I'm so dumb sometimes. Alright, the platinum hammer. Forgery level up. <laughs> oh god, I'm so stupid. It's great. Alright. Okay, if you take one strong string, two quality fur, or quality skin, I think they are in this game, and you're uh, down sleeping bag, you can make the fur sleeping bag. Two large fur, a bird wing, and the fur sleeping bag make the chill proof sleeping bag. Platinum, needed to make weapons and accessories, a rare metal, difficult to find. And yeah, that's actually. All I really have to ship here, but I'm going to ship multiple of them because they're higher level ones that I just don't need taking up my inventory space now that I have a platinum hammer. I can get platinum much easier now. So we are going to head to bed. <sighs> I 
As per usual, I'll be taking care of all my crops and then heading out to the newest cave to work on something. Oh, farming skill up, nice. And as per usual, I'll make a mistake where I'll just step in poison because why not, I guess? I'm out of water. I am a fool. So while I'm in here, Okay, so, because I am a fool who forgot to fill up on his water, and happened to run out right before he got here, I will instead be fighting these guys for a little bit, trying to get one of their drops. These are the Blood Panthers. They're neat, but, you know, like most enemies, are not very threatening to us at this point in the game. Oh, got it. The Angered Fang. This is a required item for the max upgrade of the axe. I'm going to need a total of four of them. So I might as well grab those now. Oh, another Angered Fang. Nice. So the Blood Panther actually has two drops, the Angered Fang, which we need, and also Tech Bottles. Tech Bottles wouldn't be bad, but they aren't exactly what I need. A third Angered Fang. I like to live dangerously. And also, beep beep, I'm a sheep. Beep beep, I'm a sheep, beep beep beep, I'm a sheep. This cave has fully revitalized me. Alright, an Anger Fang, a diamond, two pieces of platinum, and finally, our Mountain Axe, to make the Miracle Axe, forgery level increased. Nice. This bad boy can split a uh, full stump in one hit. It is amazing. And while I'm thinking about it, an angered fang. This fang is so sharp it can leave bite marks on iron. Boop. I have now shipped it. One here might as oh. Devil blood. We found one of the items we need. Nice. Okay. Before we continue fighting that guy, I'm gonna water the fields before I forget. We've proven already that I can forget things fairly easily, so let's not let that happen. Oh. A magic crystal. Nice. Oh. Ah, dang it. Water crystal. Okay. Let's head back, because I accidentally killed that thing, and I didn't actually mean to. So we got the drop we needed to from the little wizard. I don't know how many I need, but it's probably something like 15. Oh, even worse, it's 16. So it's currently 420. Now it's 430, but you know what I was saying. Let's go take a bath. Hey, is it true that the Empire is going to attack us? If they attacked us, what should I do? Wh what should I do? Because it's my mission to protect Miss Bianca. I wonder what those Empire folk eat for lunch. Probably nothing good, to be honest. Their territory kind of sucks. They're not exactly, you know, brimming with technology. Well, not technology, but like, resources. Hello. What if the Empire invades our town? Well, let's do what we can to prevent it. Yeah. At this point, you should probably report it to the king, but, you know, whatever. Is it true that the Empire's gonna attack? I'm scared. The Empire plans on attacking our small town. Is it true the Empire's coming here? This town doesn't stand a chance. Even if the Empire were to trample us down with their military might, they could never shake our faith. Yeah, okay. Turn the Empire into dust, I. Raguna, please don't press your luck anymore. You've got your whole life ahead of you. If it comes down to it, I'll send them packing myself. The Empire, eh? Bring them on. I can't stand them. 
Well, I mean, I actually do believe she might be able to put up a fight. You know, she is supposed to be some kind of warrior who's like hundreds of years old or something. This bar is staying open, even if we get invaded. <laughs> People everywhere are panicking. Is everything okay? Is it true the Empire are on the move? <laughs> I don't care who's invading. I have patience to care for. You should care. You know the might of the Empire. Please. Is there nothing that can be done to free us from these circumstances? I mean, I can kick their butts. I heard something terrible happened. I'd give up my own life for the sake of Nicholas. As any mother would. And now we head into Kazmir. Not for Platinum, obviously. Not for, you know, taking down the boss, obviously. But this time to head to the end of the cave and just fight a normal monster. Alright. Here's the fairies we want to beat up. And I accidentally destroyed the spawner. I'm the best! So the issue with these fairies isn't, you know, their sword storm or any of their other stuff. It's the fact that they're a ranged enemy. <laughs> because they're a ranged enemy, they just kind of get annoying. They stay by their spawner and I destroy it because I have such a wide reach, even with the short sword. Oh, a water crystal. I got really happy for a moment. So I guess the best way to deal with them is to stay down here so you bait them down to be able to attack you. That way you can beat them without destroying the spawner. Oop. Fairy powder. Amazing. Okay, so we got the one we needed. How many do I need in total, though? Okay, I need a total of five fairy powders. And I got sealed. Huh. That hasn't happened in a while. My recommendation, bring some parasils and uh, get sealed. Who cares? Oh, an Agua element. They're rare drop. Okay, yeah, sure. We now deal and take less... Well, we deal more and take less water damage. Awesome. Or at least we will once I actually use the medicine. Oh, water crystal. Oh, another water crystal. Wow, these fairies are kind of jerks. Skill up. That actually puts us at 98 swordsmanship. One more rank and we'll be max. That's actually pretty good feeling. Water crystal. Alright, bye! Alright, so we have to make our way out of the cave with no teleports. Gotta love it. Back to the basics again. Which means if I get poisoned, I'm in a bad, bad place. Oh! Energy. Completely forgot about this. Cool. I'm assuming... Yeah, no. That'd be too easy. I do have Paragon. Cool. Okay, Paragon. Nom, nom, nom. Alright, back to full health. Now, rather than making our way back into Casimir with only an hour and a half left, I'm instead going to head into Tauros. Because here in Tauros Cave are these little mages. They'll go down one hit, and they'll give us magic powder. Mind you, it's not very common, but we need like 11 of them. And I never ground them up during the time skip for reasons. Those reasons being, I forgot about it. To be honest, <laughs> I, uh, if I was smart, I would have gotten all 11 of them during the time skip, like I was doing with like little crystals and things like that. But I didn't, so here we are. Okay, the last one. Nothing. So we got one magic powder, which is very nice. We're going to need a lot of these items in the future, and we do have a good amount of days ahead of us. Uh, we still have 20 days left in this season alone. During that time, I need to get the remaining items I need for my fishing rods, and then all in one go get up to the highest level fishing rod. 
after that, I can just go fish in Misty Bloom, take care of that cave, never have to go there again. So guys, next time on the Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy Harvest Moon. Uh, let's see, we have two days ahead of us and during the next episode. My best guess is that we'll be close to being done with watering. Uh, that means that two episodes from now we can actually start fishing. Next episode we'll probably just be grinding up items, talking to people, and generally continuing life. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.